Our objectives for Lesson 26, we're going to be talking about transformations today, so we're going to understand how transformations affect the orientation of an object. We are going to show transformations and do transformations on a coordinate plane and describe them with ordered pair movements, so we'll be identifying the points where they are originally and where they end up. Uh, we'll be doing some transformations with manipulatives and understanding how similarity transformations can affect an object. So let's talk about what is a transformation that showed up several times in those objectives. Transformation is an operation on a geometric figure that alters its position or form. So think about it, it changes where the object is and sometimes it changes the size of it sometimes it changes how it's turned. So let's look at the examples of transformations we're going to be studying this year. The first one is reflection. And I'm sure in the lower grades when you talked about reflection, you talked about a mirror. It is a mirror image. So you can see for each one of these, I drew a line of reflection. So sometimes a reflection is called a flip. We have flipped it over the line of reflection. So you can see that in this, on this side, C was the closest to the line of reflection. C is still closest to the line of reflection here, the same distance from the line of reflection as the other one. A was the farthest away. A is the farthest away here. Here's a reflection of the arrow. What I would like you to do in your notes is draw a shape and then make a dotted line for your line of reflection and draw a reflection of the shape that you drew. Um, if it is a polygon with some definite corners here, I would like you to label your points on the, the one side of your reflection line and then label the points on the other one after you reflect it. Our next transformation is rotation. Rotation is just a turn. As you can see here, I have turned a, B, C, D on its side to bring the A over here. This would be considered a 90 degree turn or a fourth. Uh, this one is not quite so um, apparent that it's a fourth or whatever, but we did, we did go a little over 90 degrees here. But you can see it is just a turn. There's no change in the size, it's just a turn. So in your notes, I would like you to do the same thing you did for reflection. I would like you to draw an example of rotation Please label your points again so we can see that you actually have rotated it. You can rotate it 90 degrees. You can rotate it 180 degrees. I don't care the degree of rotation um, as long as it is less than 360. Then we have translations. Translations really are sliding. You're just simply sliding your shape from one place to the other. You're not rotating it, you're not reflecting it, it looks identical. I could pick this one up and bring it over here and I don't have to turn it or uh, flip it at all. Okay, so in your notes, again, I would like you to do the same thing. Draw a translation, uh, draw one shape and then translate it to another spot on your notebook. Now let's take a look at what they're talking about on our grids. Um, we're going to do a lot of these on a coordinate graph. So this is obviously a reflection because we still have C and A being closer to the line of reflection, which in this case would be the y-axis, than the Bs. One thing I want you to note as we're going to be doing these reflections on grid paper is you are the same distance from the line of reflection on the left side as you are the right side. So we start out with C being 4 units from the y-axis. So when we do C prime, which is the C with the little one there, we are still four units from the line of reflection. B was eight units from the line of reflection. Over here, it is eight units from the line of reflection on the right-hand side also. You can see on this graph then we have done a rotation uh, let's say that this blue triangle was the first triangle that was there and we simply rotated it around point C. So the A came down to here, the B rotated down there. So we did a counterclockwise rotation of 90 degrees. What was vertical here, AC, is now horizontal AC. 
you can see that point C is the original C and it is also the C for the new similar shape also. All right, that's it for today. We're going to do some of these uh, transformations on graph paper tomorrow and practice that, but that's all you need for your notes right now.